Hello folks, I just want to give you a tour of my new wide field setup even though a lot of parts here aren't new but I've been doing a lot of testing in the basement to make sure everything connects like the uh, the mount, the imaging camera, the moonlight focuser nothing conflicts with each other so I think I'm ready to finally get this thing outside a lot of people have been bugging me you know I hear it every day when you gonna get this thing outside man start using it but you know, I've got my primary rig still keeping me busy. I've been doing planets with my other setup. So I am, I'm taking my time. So uh, hopefully in a week or two, I'll get this thing outside and I'll start doing some stuff with it. But let me show you what I've got here. Okay, you've already seen me do an unboxing video for the, the mount, the EQ6R, and I've even showed how to connect through EQ Mod with it. The next thing though is the mounting bar. This is a 14 inch bar and I wanted a long bar just to give me um, a lot of leeway so I could balance the telescope correctly. I, was, I had this on a short mounting bar and I didn't have enough room to really balance it right. So um, I like the, the long bar. It gives me a lot more flexibility. The only issue with the long mounting bar though is uh, my moonlight focuser was banging into it. And not just the cord here, the, the focuser itself. And that's why I have these risers. I actually bought these risers from Stellar View uh, probably a couple of years ago and they rise two and a half inches but they give me a lot of space um, to, to lift the scope up and get it away from the bar and now I can I can rotate my focuser any which way. I'm not going to bang into anything so they really came in handy. A couple of years ago I thought I needed them but I ended up not needing them but now they finally came in handy. So, and right here, I've got my imaging camera, the QHY10. It's an OSC one-shot color camera. I'm going to be using that for now because I don't feel like buying another camera right now. I already paid for the mount. So, and between the, the imaging camera and the flattener, I've got um, spacers here because I need uh, at least 55 milliliters of space between the flattener and the camera sensor and high point scientific helped me figure out how much spacing i needed here so thanks to high point scientific for that and i've also got an l pro filter um, embedded inside the spacer so that'll give me a little extra light pollution there and this is an orion flattener and here is my moonlight focuser and this is my orion ed 80 t wide field telescope and this is actually the telescope that gave me my first apod it was um, a solar animation but i'm going to retire this from solar i've got enough equipment for solar now so um, this is going to be put back to use for deep sky hopefully i didn't damage it with all that solar work i did but i'm sure it's fine and after that i'm using um, a zwo guide scope i have two orion spacers here and as a guide camera, I'm going to use this ZWO planetary camera, the ASI224MC, because uh, my primary rig has a Lodestar X2. But after my friend, that, that's kind of an expensive guide camera, but after my friend Doug said he was using this camera successfully as a guide camera, I thought, well, I still have that, so um, I, I'm going to make use of that instead of buying new equipment there. And I already had this ZWO guide scope from before. so. Um, I think that pretty much explains it. This is the setup I'm going to use. Uh, the only thing is, I know with this one-shot color camera, I think the, uh, the image scale is somewhere around 2.6. I think I'm definitely going to be oversampled, but I'm hoping I can fix any issues uh, with drizzling. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. And um, I think that's it. Uh, hopefully the next time you see me talking about this EQ6R mount, it'll be after an imaging session. So thanks folks, that's all I got. I'll see you later. Hello folks, welcome to the basement. That's the last thing I want to deal with. I just want to make sure once I get it outside. Now. Yeah. 
Hello, folks. I wouldn't be limited to um, where I would have the, the scope mounted on this uh, on this mount. <laughs> 